the power of ethanol in Iowa, um, what we saw unfold in with new media. I uh, and my colleagues here um, just immediately assumed that this was through you an attack at at Governor Scott Walker. Did you did you feel that way? I'm not. I don't know how much you can speak to this, but to us at least in our perspective, it seemed as though you were being used as a pathway to go after Scott Walker. How did do, do you feel the same? What are your, what's your thought on that? Well, I mean, I think that that's a common thing in political campaigns, and you know, candidly. My firm handles opposition research and we handle communications work and there are instances where we've certainly pointed out something that a staffer or a, consultor, a consultant has done or said or, you know, a policy advisor, that kind of thing. I mean, I can remember in 2008 that came up many, many times with people who were advising either formally or informally President Obama, then candidate Barack Obama, same thing with Hillary Clinton. And so, you know, I think to some degree that's part and parcel of the political process. In this case, I don't know that I would necessarily say that I was hugely surprised because obviously people do have very vested interests in, you know, retaining Iowa's position, mm -hmm. um, and there are there are a lot of commercial interests as well as political interests at play there. Um, one thing that I do think has somewhat been lost in a lot of people's attention to this, though, is I tweeted the things that I tweeted in January, and I did not start consulting for uh, Governor Walker's Our American Revival effort until well into March. Right. And I think there are a lot of people that sort of assume that, that I said the things that I said when I was actually involved with Our American Revival, which is actually not true. Although, also, as I made clear, uh, once I was off payroll in a series of tweets, um, I do stand by my beliefs and my views on this subject, unpopular as they may be in certain parts of the country. Um, I do believe that farm subsidies are out of control, desperately need reform. Um, I do not support the renewable fuel standard. Um, and I do think that there are some issues, not only with Iowa going first, um, but perhaps more especially mm -hmm. the fact that Iowa conducts this decision-making process by a caucus, as opposed to something that is perhaps a more open um, process that uh, you know might might allow some other voices to participate in the process. At the end of the day, it's very difficult, I think, having a caucus system where yes. people are naturally going to be restricted. They're going at night. Um, you know, they're doing that at a point when you're not dealing with great weather. I think that a primary would probably be a better system to have. And that's a, it's that's an objective opinion on this that is shared, I think, by by a lot. But it was just I think we were all a little yeah. bit shocked that there was that sort of reaction to this. Yeah. And the thing that the thing that I found so interesting, actually, is that in the aftermath of this, I mean, I had thousands and thousands of emails, thousands of people who were tweeting at me, direct messaging me, um, texting me, Facebook messaging me. And one of the things that I found really fascinating is that a lot of those messages were coming from Iowans. And I would say at least 98 percent of them, probably closer to 99 percent of them, were people who were expressing support and agreement with me and wow. saying, that they do actually think that there is a problem with the process and they think that there are issues, um, you know, whether it's to do with ethics surrounding caucuses and, the whole, and, and generally Iowa's position um, or just to do with the RFS or with farm subsidies. There are a lot of people who obviously have issues with their own states handling um, and, and, the, and the role that they currently play in its current form in the presidential process. Yeah, it sounds like they're dissatisfied with the establishment, as it were.